how are you dealing with your emotional pain? Are you coping well with the bad things that happened to you in the past? If not, I believe in many cases, you will behave in a way that isn't right. But if you cope well, it may not affect so much on the way you speak and the way you behave and the way you think. I think with some extreme cases, you know, some people may take things very hard. Like, hey, this happened to me, that happened to me, this happened to me. Like, I don't know how to cope well with it, or I am choosing to not cope well with it. And I believe based upon that, you can begin behaving, speaking, or thinking in a very wild way. So I believe it's based on how you take things. You can go through something awful, but be humble and not be prideful. Choose to be calm. Yes, you may need to fast. You may need to pray about it, but the problems we go through don't have to affect us very negatively every single time. For instance, if someone goes through something very, very abusive, and let's say that you begin to tell other people, let's say at first you were not really acting very outrageous from it. But let's say you begin to tell other people and they are very shocked and begin to tell you that you went through something very, very awful. And let's say they like really wrap up their emotions and try to make you feel like you went through something very, very horrible. I believe in some cases that may make you begin, that may change your mind about how you should deal with what happened to you and that may make you worse based upon how people are reacting to what you are saying on what you went through in the past. So I believe a big deal of it is how you are coping with it. Some people may think, well, I have went through something very bad in the past and I am not going to talk about it. I am not going to think about it. But in truth, they can't stop thinking about it. I believe many, let's say many can't stop thinking about it. They may not, they may not speak it out to people, but it may rehearse constantly in their mind. Like they may think about it so much and and feel like a victim and they may be a victim. But they may rehearse it over and over and over again and based upon that they may begin acting speaking or thinking in a way that isn't right so what i'm trying to say some people may try to bury it without dealing with it in the correct manner and you may say, Kevin, what is the correct manner? I believe the best manner is to pray about it, fast about it, give it over to Jesus Christ. If 
intrusive thoughts are coming to you trying to make you into a worse person you have to fight against it I believe based upon how you cope with your problems it is going to somewhat determine the way you behave and I think many people are behaving wrongly because they don't know how to cope or they may not choose to cope. I really hope this makes sense. The way I am now, and I am not saying I am perfect. I am not saying I am better than you, but I deal with my problems differently than how I would back in the past. Before, I would deal with my hurt in a different way. At a particular time in the past, I would deal with my pain in a different way. Now, there may be some things I may do the same. I don't know exactly, but let's say that I deal with my pain differently. I hope this makes sense. I, I still go through pain, but I am not acting, I believe I'm not, I am not acting very badly based upon my pain. Why? Because I am able to cope with my issues much better than before. Some people may say, well, if God doesn't want me to be this way or act in this way, he should have stopped this and that, this and that. No. On earth, we are going to have problems. And it is not so much about what problems we have on earth, but how we deal with them. You can go through, I truly believe, you can go through so much, but still be at peace. And you may say, Kevin, how is that possible? Well, it is impossible if you try to deal with your problems on your own. It is impossible. But if you have Jesus Christ as a help, I believe anything is possible. How are you coping with your problems? For one, stop rehearsing the bad things that happened to you in the past. I believe um, what happens, I think much of the time, bad things of the past tries to cloud my mind. I don't want that. I believe it is demonic. So I have to fight against those thoughts. I have to. Because if I don't, it is going to affect me, which I believe it affects others because they may rehearse the, neg the negative things that has happened to them in the past. Stop rehearsing that mess in your mind. Yes, this happened to you. That happened to you. Accept what happened. Not saying you should be happy about it. I am not saying that. Accept what happened and move on. What good is it going to do for me if I continue to purposely rehearse in my mind, okay, this happened to me, that happened to me. And when I was younger, this happened to me. And why did it have to happen to me? Like, 
what is that going to do for me? That is probably going to make me feel worse. And it may make me so angry to where I may begin acting poorly toward people. And how many people are doing that? I believe many. Cope with your issues the right way. Stop holding on. Why are you punishing people that don't deserve it? We should not punish people in a bad way anyway, but why are you taking out your anger, your frustration, your hate, your spite, whatever, on people that did not do that wrong thing to you. Why are you doing that? Do you believe that is right? Now, you are hurt because you feel like you were innocent, but someone did you wrong. But look at what you are doing. You are doing wrong to people that are innocent right so aren't you being hypocritical and you may say kevin you don't understand my feelings you don't understand my mind so i have to understand your feelings i have to understand your mind to tell you what is right and what is wrong so are you trying to tell me your wrong is right because of the pain that you are suffering now. Are you telling me that? Are you telling me that you should be allowed to say and do whatever you want because of the pain you suffered and still is suffering today? Are you trying to tell me that? That, that, the evil you are doing is okay. Like, I may not understand everything you are going through. I may not know everything that you have went through, but what does that have to do with anything if you are doing wrong? If someone is telling you to not do wrong? Hmm? For instance, I have gone through some things some people probably never been through. Some things. Now, I can use that as an excuse to be mean, to be rude, to be hateful. I can use that as an excuse to do evil. But when it comes down to the Bible, even if I went through worse, even if I felt worse for what I have been through, that doesn't give me an excuse to do it. No one has to know everything I have been through. No one has to know how I feel about everything. That has no bearing upon, how should I say it? like my feelings and what i have been through doesn't make my wrong right so i don't have to fully understand you no one does you don't get a free card to do evil because of your pain like really think about that what if someone listen to me listen to me what if someone has gone through worse than you? So you are hurt and that other person is hurt, but they have gone through worse than you. Based upon what you are saying, that your wrong is right because of what you went through, shouldn't you accept that person treating you wrong because of what they went through. 
Would you accept that? No, you won't. No, you won't. You probably would not. So if you would not accept that, what about your treatment to others? Shouldn't you stop it? Shouldn't you stop justifying your evil as being right? I believe our pain can influence us to be selfish, to be self-absorbed, to be hypocritical. Stop it. Like, yes, you, your mother and father probably was not in your life much. Maybe they did not love you. Maybe they did not allow you to express your emotions. Maybe they abused you. Maybe they would, like, let's say they neglected you. Are you telling me that you are using that as an excuse to treat other people wrongly because you feel like you deserved better? What do I have to do with how your parents treated you? What does Joey and Tommy and Anna and... Uh, naming random names, uh, Angelica, Sarah, what do those people have anything to do with what happened to you in the past? Nothing, right? I believe so, but you are including those people in your pain when they had nothing to do with it. Is that fair? You may say what happened to you is not fair, but is it fair that you are treating people wrongly because of what you went through? That isn't fair. So now you are being a hypocrite. You are being a hypocrite, but you may not say you don't care and you are going to do this and you are going to do that. And you can do whatever you want, but you must know if you purposely do wrong for any reason. You know you're doing wrong, but you are doing wrong because you are hurt. You will reap what you sow. You will. You will reap what you sow. So, you may feel hurt because of what happened to you in your past, but uh, be ready. More bad things are going to happen to you when you are choosing to do evil for the wrong reasons. Well, <laughs> doing evil is always wrong, despite the reasons. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.